Hi everyone, it's Rob from Spirit Lifestyle here. I'm excited to tell you that we will be, Alice and I will be doing a workshop here at the Home of Morningstar Ministries at Heritage International in Fort Mill, South Carolina at the beginning of November in a couple of months time. So we want to invite you to join us here at this wonderful uh, iconic venue where there's so many uh, ministries and wonderful things go on here. We've done workshops here before and it's also, it's always so encouraging when uh, people just gather together to train and uh, be encouraged to, this is what I love, when, when people step out in faith for the very first time to, you know, just try uh, the prayer of faith for healing or to um, just to step into that word of knowledge that they feel like the Lord is giving them for somebody who's in the group. It's an amazing time. It's always such, a, such a, an encouragement when we do that. So join us here on the, I think it's the 3rd and the 4th of November. And as, as part of that workshop, um, I'm excited to tell you that we will be joining uh, Morningstar in the main atrium for uh, a time of uh, worship. So that's going to make this workshop even more special. So head over to our website if you want to book in for that. It's spiritlifestyle.com. We are also doing a special rate for married couples just to make that a little bit easier for, for couples. So I um, hope you can take advantage of that too. So we look forward to seeing you there. Just before I go, I just want to introduce a, a great testimony that we heard at our last workshop from a New Zealand lady who was telling us what happened to her when she stepped out in faith to pray for somebody on a flight on an aeroplane. Just take a look at this. Hi, my name's Moana. I'm from New Zealand and I'd like to tell you a little bit about what's been happening for me and for other people while I've been watching the Spirit Lifestyle trainings. Um, now, I've watched them for about a bit over two years, but about a year ago when I was on the plane from Amsterdam to Frankfurt, miracles started happening. And from then I've experienced, as I have, step, as I have stepped out, uh, miracles happening regularly, on a regular basis. So this lady sitting next to me on the plane, the aisle was between us and my children, two children were sitting next to the window and she started chatting to me. I didn't really feel like talking that much or, you know, I didn't uh, feel like it so much, but she started asking questions about my children and engaging with me. So I thought, well, you know, as a Christian, I better talk back to her. And then after maybe half an hour or something or 20 minutes, she told me that she had a pain in her shoulder in the back of her neck and like a good believer I'm like oh well I I guess I should offer to pray for her um so I said well should you, I know this might sound weird but do you think I could pray for you for your neck and she said oh sure why not so I didn't have the words as I'd seen Alice do I just put my uh finger or her, my hand on her shoulder and I just started to pray and I thought to myself, my goodness, I do not even have the words to pray here. But anyway, he goes, Alice goes something like, in the name of Jesus, I just command uh, the pain in your neck just to leave. And I'm thinking, oh yeah, who knows what the other passengers are thinking, but anyway, it doesn't matter. And so I said to her, so how, how is it? How's your neck? And she, she starts to go like this and she goes, she goes, oh, when I put my neck down like that, I still feel the pain. I said, oh, okay, well, <clears throat> let's pray again. So I put my hand on her again. I said, um, in the name of Jesus, I just command the pain. And I was so lost for words. I don't even know what I said. It was not a, a really nice, you know, perfect prayer in Jesus' name for the pain to go. And then I said, so how's your neck now? Because Alice always says, check to see how, how they are after you pray. So she said, she started going like this and then she and then she started really fast going like this and she's going, she said, well, what did you say? I said, well, I don't know. I think I said, what words did you use? She said, I said, I think I used the word command or something. I said, I don't know. And she's going, it's, it's, 
what she she couldn't she was so shocked she kept looking at me she kept on going like this and she, and I said I didn't know what to say and I thought oh let me just tell her God loves her so I said well I guess God's just trying to show you that he loves you and she got all emotional and then she said you won't believe but two months ago I was walking the streets of Amsterdam and someone came up and prayed for me and um, and and told me that very same thing. She said, I think God is trying to tell me something. And I said, yeah, obviously. So, yeah, I really thank God. That was the beginning of all the miracles that followed in the in the last year.